Hello there, Genesis fans. It's Dean Wolf at Prog Dog Channel here. Prog Dog's here. We are in an out-react uh, to the entire album of Nursery Crime by Genesis. I actually bought this vinyl over a year ago, maybe even a year and a half, two years ago. I haven't put it on yet, like there are several albums that I haven't put on. I just bought a whole bunch of albums here and there, and I thought, oh no, I have to do a reaction to this, because this is a fill-in-the-gaps for me. Um, I got into Genesis with... Selling England by the Pound, and then I got uh, Lamb Lies Down, and then I got um, Winds and Weathering, uh, Trick of the Tail, right up till Genesis, you know, the Genesis self-titled in 83. I mean, I was getting into Genesis, and that was a new album at the time. And that was an interesting album, actually, I think, for the 80s. It was pretty neat what they did in that album. Anyways, so I got to fill in the gaps. I uh, didn't know the first three albums uh, hardly at all. I just did a reaction to Supper's Ready, which... Uh, I'll put the link there. So let's react now to Nursery Crime, finally. And I'll let you know too, if I'm familiar with any, any of this. So far this actually is a little familiar with me. Play me old King Cole. Probably heard this over the years. But I may join with you. Your hearts now seem so far from me It hardly seems to matter now And the nurse will tell you lies Of a kingdom beyond the skies in this half world it hardly seems to matter now play me my song oh this sounds familiar yeah I'm sure I heard this before yeah play me my song that sounds like it's sped up recorded the guitar. Not now, now it's regular. Just a little bit, just a little bit more time, time left to live out my life. at Trident Studios London, the famous Charisma label, 1972.
amazing. Ah, it's amazing. Just pause it for a second until the next song. Uh, how Peter Gabriel goes from such low, gentle whispers like you know, and then no, no, it's it's uh, quite dynamic. Um, like I said at the end there, I, saw, I felt Brian May and Queen almost with uh, Hackett playing all those. Um, the harmonies that sound really good and uh the other thing about this tune i've definitely heard it before uh growing up in whatever um back in the days of great fm radio man we had some great stations in toronto i i grew up near toronto you know st Catharines near well, that's where new Peart was born and uh anyways so let's go on to the next track really enjoying this so far it's interesting um it feels very retrospective to me because Genesis I know so well from you know from selling England and to me they always had this sort of uh, grand the tr track one was always a very grand track you know they always put put a really big track which I guess probably that's typical of a lot of bands but I think Genesis is kind of signature in the way they kind of did that they opened up with this really amazing immense kind of epic feeling song and that of course felt very epic but also it felt a little rough around the edges it really sounds like uh, you can tell Genesis are still Genesis are still finding their their feet, you know, like especially Tony Banks, you know. I I always felt like he was very prominent uh, starting at uh, um, selling England, you know, like he was always like Tony Banks. It's like, you know, the even his last name Bank, like a bank of guns or whatever. His keyboards were like a bank of keyboards, literally, and they were like solid and present. Whereas I feel like even in this song, uh, he was not really up there and like he he eventually would become uh the guitars are very prominent um which is really interesting too going back to some of the earlier stuff before this i've reacted now to uh the the knife for example and the original guitarist is fantastic i really didn't realize how he actually kind of set a tone for genesis and um uh, and had he stayed in the band, um, I mean, Hackett, of course, is wonderful. I love Hackett so much. I'm a big fan of Hackett as a songwriter, as a, as in, in, in every respect. Um, but that original guitarist, wasn't it Anthony? Anthony? Uh, yeah, he's really great, too. He's had a great tone, really set Genesis going forward with this sort of unique sound. And Hackett definitely picked up on that and also owned it, made it his own, and added his own stuff, of course. Now let's go on, let's go on to For Absent Friends. Is that Phil Collins? I'm just going to keep letting it roll. Nice little tune. That must have been Phil singing. very 
classical music kind of composition to me. It's on the bass when he went from high to low changed the feel Genesis sounds so raw on this album. And Mike Rutherford, his bass playing was so aggressive. I think he laid back later in the years, didn't he? But he was starting off really Chris Squire ish. Well, that's. Reminds me a little Jethro Tull, those little parts. section keyboards were really kind of pushed into the background which is very ungenesis like
Reyes. Yeah, that last run there, I loved listening to Phil Collins playing the drums, but it sounded, as far as mixing, this is a technical point of view, it sounded kind of mixed really kind of sloppily or or hastily or something. It did, there's a real lack of clarity um, there and focus, uh, definitely in the mixing. It'd be nice if they could get the masters and remix that. Uh, it could just reflect that the band is not as focused together as they would become, you know, um, because that kind of you self-edit, you know, as a musician, and you start to uh, you start to get rid of the excess stuff that's not really necessary to a song because it's a lot of people putting input, right? It's like five people feeding in one song, right? So with five different instruments, or um, so. But I love the raw energy. It was almost like a garage kind of garage band energy going on there. It sounds like Genesis coming out of the garage. I enjoyed it. For part two of this exciting React video, click the link at the top left part of the screen, and also the link is in the description below. For the exciting conclusion to this video, click the link at the top left of the screen for part two of this React. It's also uh, linked in the description box below.